Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D and Black Friday sales are coming up. Cyber Monday sales are coming up. They will be on the blender market. So in this video, we're going to go through the, my recommendations and then the ones that I'm actually going to be picking up if they're on sale as well. Now, I will be truthful. I do have affiliate links for some of these. So the ones that I talk about, I will do affiliate link and then the tutorial video that I've done for that video. Okay, so we're not going to go through so we're kind of just going to blitz through this. So the first add-on is the physical starlight and atmosphere add-on. It's really good for like environments and so on and so forth. Beautiful add-on. Um, the tutorial or the review, however you want to look at it, it will be below. With this add-on, just remember though, there is like a 50% increase in render times, but the quality is there. It is sick. Now this one, as we know, Auto Rig Pro, I use it, abuse it, love it, touch it. Uh, great for rigging characters and the new version as well with Quick Rig Pro, um, where, I've been where I've been able to get my character, create three characters to come over and quickly re-rig them using Auto Rig Pro. Mwah! Highly recommended if you're doing any sorts of animation. Extreme PBR combo, Marco's lazy. Marco needs materials, Marco slaps them on. What more needs to be said? Scatter now 4.0 is amazing balls. Um, really good terrain, kind of like adding in grasses and such just makes stuff look so well. And with that accompanied with a physical starlight and atmosphere add-on, recommended. Simply Cloth Pro, really good with doing cloth stuff. However, it is not the best with actually doing clothes, I found. I really strongly recommend using the garment tool for that one. However, that's not av available on the blender market. That is available over on Gumroad. There is a link for that in the description as well. True Space is about 18 HDRIs of sci-fi backgrounds and so on and so forth. Um, if you've been watching the short films that I've been recently doing, a lot of the HDRIs I've been using in there, once again, it's just uh, saves quite a bit of time. Last but not least, Chaos. This is a really good add-on for creating like fireballs and explosions and such. However, it doesn't really work too well in Blender 2.9. Um, I think the latest stable version was 2.83 and that's because from then on, Manta Flow is kind of broken. Um, so it's not the add-on's fault, but the actual Blender itself is having issues with there. So hopefully the Blender developers fix that up soon, but I'd be picking that one up as well. So now we're going to be looking at the ones that I'm going to be picking up. City Builder 3D. I'll be picking this one up. I still believe in Scene City as well. That's an amazing tool. However, it's good to kind of compare between them both. So I will be picking this up most definitely when that's on sale. True Terrain 3 looks amazing. Um, I think coming up with some more short films, I will probably be incorporating some sort of terrain tool. I really need... Um, kind of something that yeah that's a very visually pretty um i think i might do some spaceship shorts where we're actually in like deserted areas or so on and so forth um but i think it's just gonna be a powerful tool and i'm really looking forward to picking that one up as well i'm no curtis holt i can't script for peanuts now i have seen kind of like the prequel to serpents which is a visual scripting add-on um i'm very confident using the unreal engine 4 blueprints i'm very confident using Godot's visual scripting as well. So I'm looking forward to actually creating my own add-ons in Blender. I've got a few good ideas and I know that this is still being worked on, but this would be something I'm definitely gonna pick up. I'll probably even pick this up now. So last but not least, Simply Micro Mesh. I'll, this goes in conjunction with Simply Cloth Pro, um, where you can change the cloths with a whole bunch of other different presets. I was checking it out. No, not there. Well, up here you can change kind of like um, what the actual mesh is of the cloth. So I think this could be really good. Oh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Here it is. So there are a whole bunch of different types of meshes. So I think this might be something I'll pick up, not for clothes, but kind of like interiors of spaceships or going around cables or something. I've got ideas with this one. So if you're still here, thank you very much. Now, there are 30 free copies of my kit bashing set all the way down the bottom of the description. Kind of hide that in there and say thank you for sticking around this long. Um, if you those 30 have already gone, we'll do a 50% discount as well. So there we go. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. 
please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Also, don't forget to jump over to Markham 3D Studios, where I am uploading animated short films. I'm going to try fortnightly, but I'm going to try weekly. Please support that. <laughs> and hopefully get that channel growing as well. So thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.